Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium review. It's my pleasure to review the Classic Construction Models Caterpillar 349FL brass model in 1 to 87 scale. Now, most of you in the community will remember that a 349 was released a couple years ago uh, in 1 to 48 scale by CCM. They made the standard excavator, which came with a couple buckets, and they also made an LME version of it as well. The difference with this particular model, besides the scale, is, of course, that it's made in very delicate brass, it has low production numbers, and it is extremely expensive. So why would a model like this cost so much money, you may ask yourself. Well, there are several reasons for that. One of which I've already mentioned, and that's the low production numbers. So there are Caterpillar collectors all over the world who are going to be vying to get their hands on one of these, and there's only 250 that are made. On top of that, many of those 250 models are reserved for Caterpillar employees. So that number really drops even more so. Also, because it's brass, and as we look back through the history of CCM products and sword products, we as collectors and enthusiasts know that nearly every single one of those models increases in value substantially. So whether or not you know it or not, you are purchasing this model as an investment as well. That is not why I purchased this model as I hope that I will never again have to experience anything where I have to sell off part of my collection, which I have done in the past. Um, but moreover, it's a, it's a very, very nice 1 to 87 scale. It's no secret on this channel if you follow me that that is my second favorite scale to collect. And it's finally nice to have a museum-quality replica of an excavator to put in the display case. So... Let's take it off the low boy. I know a lot of people like to see how it looks on a low boy. This is a 187 scale International and a Trail King low boy in 187 by Norscott. In the real world, this may not be particularly realistic. You'd probably have to have a Jeep um, just because of how big the 349 is. The cat graphics are great, and the tracks will roll just fine on a surface with... Uh, friction, but again, I don't recommend doing that. You can see just how easy I'm handling this model. Counterweight looks great with the cat name embossed, and you have two warning lights. Over here, you have the, again, cat logo. Hoping my camera will pick this up, but I want to direct your attention to in here. And the detail in there is phenomenal with the hydraulic lines and such. Also, there's no slip tread pattern up on top here um, for accessing the service areas and stuff. The bucket, when folded up, does have wear plating. It has six teeth on it. So very carefully, let's go ahead and deploy the excavator. Any position you want to achieve with this, you can, including rotating the car body 360 degrees. Just remember how very, very brittle this model is. I cannot, I cannot overemphasize that. You don't want to buy a model that's going to cost you, you know, well over $750 plus shipping and then end up breaking it. But if you want to pose it in the display case, all poses are possible with this thing. And overall, she just looks absolutely phenomenal. So, there it is, guys. As simplistic as it gets, but a fantastic model nonetheless. If you're a 187 scale fan or a Caterpillar fan in general, I highly, highly, highly would recommend picking one of these up. I can't over as I cannot overemphasize that enough. Uh, these are extremely hard to get, and once they're gone, they're gone. They get picked up by sellers on eBay, and uh, we know how unfortunately how that goes. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please use the comment section below. And until next time, guys, be safe. We'll talk to you soon.